reasons for believing that there's any actual truth in the claims of religion. So those who, get, who gain consolation from religion, I must confess that I rather liken it to a child with a, with a dummy in its mouth. Um, I don't think it's a very dignified, a very um, respect-worthy posture for an adult to go around uh, sucking a dummy with a, with a comforter, which is what it, I think it essentially is. Inspiration, well, I've always found the inspiration, uh, the, the heavens declare the glory of God, all things bright and beautiful and so on, to be paltry, parochial, small-minded, compared to the inspiration that you can get by looking at the world of science. Deep space, deep time, as the late Carl Sagan uh, showed us, deep complexity in the study of life. The scientific study of these profound, beautiful, elegant mysteries is one of the greatest achievements of the human spirit. And insofar as religion offers an alternative or even positively stands in the way of scientific uh, activity, then I think we would be well rid of it. Which brings me to the other uh, of my four categories, explanation. In the field of explanation, science has all the cards. Religion used to aspire to a reasonably good hand, but no longer. There is no reason to suppose that any religion, any religious book, any religious teacher has anything to say whatsoever about such questions as where the universe comes from, what life is all about, what life is for, uh, any of those questions which once upon a time uh, religion provided the, the best available answers, these are now completely washed up. There is no evidence for them at all. And it's worse than that because the point I want to end up with is that science, uh, sorry, is that religion debauches education in so far, and it's quite a long way, in so far as it uh, interferes with the education of children and students. It's not just the teaching of falsehoods. It is that the indoctrination of children in the virtues of faith leads them to be immunized, to be placed on their guard against the enemies of faith who they are told will come. It's as though it's rather like a computer erecting a firewall to prevent incoming information. I have talked to colleagues in America, scientists attempting to lecture to students on their subject, biology, and of course biology makes no sense without evolution. And whenever a lecturer mentions evolution, he sees a great sea of heads shaking, arms folded, and they are not listening. They are trained to give the right answers, they're trained to tick the right boxes when they do the exam, they know how to answer an exam on evolution, but they have been forewarned, forearmed by the firewall of faith whenever a teacher says anything about evolution, in effect, stop up your ears. Now that is debauching of education. A quote from Kurt Wise, who is an American geologist. He studied geology at Harvard, no less, under Stephen Jay Gould, no less. And he was set for a, a good career as an academic geologist, which all his life he had desperately wanted. The problem was, it came from within, it was his religious upbringing, his firewall of faith. And he couldn't reconcile the two, his scientific education with his religion. And he literally got a pair of scissors and went right through the Bible and cut out every verse that would have to go if he accepted his scientific education. And it, in the end, he decided there was nothing left of his Bible. He therefore tossed out science and said, and from then on, he said, um, with that in great sorrow, I tossed into the fire 
all my dreams and hopes in science. And he goes on, I am a young age creationist because that is my understanding of the scripture. As I shared with my professors years ago when I was in college, if all the evidence in the universe turns against creationism, I would be the first to admit it, but I would still be a creationist because that is what the word of God seems to indicate. Here I must stand. If religion can do that to a highly educated Harvard geologist, just think what it can do to an average school child or student. Thank you.